couple things I want to bring up because me and Conan have been um because you you obviously you're, you're like me and Conan we say stuff and it goes sports key to you know wrestling legend we're, we're wrestling legends <laughs> wrestling <laughs> legendaries you know stuff you know that I'm, I want to talk a couple couple of the things that me and Conan the comments you've made lately um me and Conan oh, I, want, I want to say this first to Conan Conan uh. Are you doing okay, health? Well, you look great, bro. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm I know, doing, I know I'm doing way better. I was yeah, in really bad shape. I want, last yeah, year. no, bro, because yeah. I know you were struggling with a lot of stuff. But you look, I mean, you look great, bro. I just wanted to say that before I forgot. Thank you. Yeah, I go ahead. Go. Uh, all right, so, so me and Conan have been, and then you know, I, I, I give you like we've had conversations. I think maybe the the, the reason you still have kind of more of a negative uh, a negative attitude about the WWE booking than we do because all you watch is Raw. Right. Okay? So you all you watch is Raw. You don't watch SmackDown, so you don't get to see a lot of the Bloodline storyline and the way it's like presented on that show. And you don't watch AEW where you have a, a, a gauge to compare the two products right. about how, how they do business and everything, right? But one of the things that um you said recently, and I want Conan to chime on this, like you can explain to him, you made the comment that, you know, a guy that we're very high on, you know, you you think there's something missing with L.A. Knight, right? Ex- explain what you mean by that. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't watch SmackDown, Conan, but what happens is, you know, I, I see L.A. Knight's getting a little bit of steam, so I know, let me go see what he's doing, right? And, right. and then he came on Raw, and he cut a promo on Raw. And, bro, here's the funny thing, especially, Glenn, I think because of the conversation I had with you and you told me what kind of a guy he was, okay? Now I'm kind of rooting for him. Now, now now, I want him to do well because you let me know, bro, this is how the guy is. He's always been this way. He's a good guy. So now I'm in his corner, and I'm rooting with him. So I'm, I'm watching his face-to-face with The Miz, and, and something is just missing for me. And and right. and I was talking to Conan. I was talking to Ben Hameen and uh, Stevie Richards about this, and right. they said and they said something that I think I think is the issue, bro. He needs a strong antagonist. In, in other words, Austin would have never been Austin without McMahon. Ne- never in a million years. He he would have been a strong character. He would have been over. He would have never reached legendary status. It was that strong antagonist. The, the Miz is not that strong antagonist. And, bro, I don't really know who that strong antagonist is on that roster because they really haven't built any strong heels. But I think that's what's missing, bro. Somebody that's, you know, that, that that's a heel, that's got heat, that's got a little bit of authority that the people hate that he can go up face to face. I think that's what's missing. I don't think it's anything he's doing. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. No, I wouldn't disagree with that. I think they're going to find that person, but he's right now, the people have made him a star. He sells a lot of shirts. If you watch Raw, there's a lot of shirts. He's mega over. He beat Dollar Store real quick, and the people loved him. You know, I called them Uncle Phil again. People love this cat. And they're in, and they're in, bro, even the, even the, the commentator, they said something like, yeah, you know, they love that, you know, uh, let me talk to you. Yeah. Like, what, what, what he was doing in Impact. I don't Audi- know if you were audience, still there. He's got audience participation. Right. The, guy, right. the guy's figured yeah, it like, out. Bro, he's mega over. And I said this today when we were reviewing Raw. When the writing catches up to the audience, this guy's going to be a superstar. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I, I just, I just don't think they've built any antagonists. You're, you're, you're correct. Mean anything? 